A wolf can attack a sheep and the rest of them won't run. They just look over there like. <laughs> we need the shepherd. And David put it that way, the Lord. Come on, somebody. Not, listen, not any kind of shepherd. I don't need a shepherd that, like a howling that will run when I'm in trouble. I need a shepherd that will protect. So the Lord is my, come on, where is the church? And since the Lord is my shepherd, I, y'all ain't hearing me. Cause I, I, you and I must stay with the shepherd, in the shepherd, the shepherd provide, the shepherd protect. He shields, he blesses, he renew our strength. Hallelujah. And the shepherd said, listen, don't you even fight. I, I'll fight your battles. I don't want you fighting. That's why I didn't give you nothing to fight with. I'll fight your battle. Can you imagine sheep trying to fight? What you gonna fight with? It's unnatural for a Christian to be fighting. It don't, it's not even in the kingdom that Christians fight. He said, I will be your shepherd. And, they, and, and, and God come along, he said, you need me so much and I made you after my kind. If you're gonna thrive and you're gonna get wisdom, you're gonna get knowledge, you're gonna get it in me. David said, and, and God said, you know what? I'm so good. I don't, I, I'm not the average shepherd. He says, I do strange and blessed things with my sheep. He says, I never run away your enemy. He said, I, I, I tell your enemy, hang around. He said, I don't get rid of your enemy. He said, I like preparing a table. Y'all ain't hear me preach up in there. He said, I don't want to get rid of them. I want your enemy to see just how good I am to those who are inside of the body of Christ. There's a whole lot of people that thought that you was not going to make it. They did everything in their power to make sure you wouldn't make it. But you mess around and stepped over in Christ. And God didn't get rid of those people that didn't think you're going to make it. He said, I'm going to prepare. Oh, come on to get this today. Don't worry about those folks that don't like you. If God be for you. Y'all ain't hearing me preach up here. If God be on your side, who in the world can be against you? So what God says, God says, listen, watch this. He said, I prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy because I'm the shepherd that won't leave you, won't forsake you. So while the wolves are up in the mountains, you are eating in the valley. Your enemy see you eating. But the reason they won't leave the mountains is because they see the shepherd. Somebody ought to give God a praise. You know why you bless? The devil is trying to get a hold of you. But he keeps seeing that you're too close to the shepherd. You would have been took out a long time ago but you was inside of the shepherd. Somebody ought to give God a praise in here. High five your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm blessed because of the shepherd. Hallelujah, somebody. The shepherd is the reason I'm blessed. And since the shepherd is with me and I'm with the shepherd, and inside of him I live, move, and have my being. So it has been established, whether people like it or not, that goodness and mercy 
shall follow me all, not some of the days, all the days. Somebody shout right there. Goodness and mercy. Even when the doctors say, I got to give you a bad report. You tell the doctor, tell it to goodness. And tell it to mercy. Cause they shall follow me all the days of my life. How far somebody next to you say, I'm blessed like that. Come on, say it like you mean it. I'm blessed just like that. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed in the country. Blessed on the mountain. Blessed in the valley. I'm blessed like every time I turn around. There's another blessing. Y'all sit down. I want to preach about five more minutes, I think. You're not blessed because you look good. <laughs> You're not blessed because you foul. You're not blessed because you got a degree. you blessed because you are in him. A fish is not blessed because it looks good. A fish is not blessed because it shines. A fish is blessed because it's in the water. Hallelujah. Oh, I tried to. Hear me clearly. You are really are not blessed because of your spouse or children. You are blessed because the giver gave you. Lord have mercy. The ability to associate, to communicate. Let me try to close. In him, the old patriarch and David and many other saints and in the New Testament, they understood something far greater than us. I hope we get it today. That's why back in the day when Grandmama, big mama couldn't read or write. They know how to go to him. Yeah, Lord. They tried to stop Daniel from communicating with him. They wrote a decree, and the decree said, if anybody is called, called praying to their God, y'all good timing. Because y'all must be used to preach or wrapping it up. <laughs> if anybody called praying to their God, They we throw it in the lion den. And when Daniel read the decree, he read it. He said, the decree said, nobody can talk. I can't talk to God. Daniel said, I need him. I got to have God. And so Daniel read the decree, realized his life would be in danger. And three times a day, as he had always done, he went down on his knee, opened up a window toward Jerusalem, opened up his mouth, began to call on the Lord. 
And when they caught him, threw him in the lion den. Hungry lions. But the thing about it, the lion didn't devour Daniel. Why? <laughs> the shepherd. was in the lion den protecting his kind. And lastly, three Hebrew boys. Y'all know the story? They would not bow down. And they said, if we catch you calling on your God at the, sound, at the sound of the flute or the heart, if you don't bow down, you'll be thrown in the fire furnace. And they said this, we will not bow. King, we don't live in you. We live in him. And the God that we serve, he's able to deliver us. And even if he don't deliver us, we still won't bow down to your idol. Y'all th Y'all three, y'all three, wait, just there. Minister Dixon, come in, come in. Y'all three, right quick. Watch this. God will protect his kind. Y'all get over there. No, no, I just need three. Just, no, these three here. Y'all go over there, go over there. Watch this. God is good. What should take you out won't take you out when God is for you. Don't you know, just like gravity is the law, fire is the law. Anyone jump, fall. Anyone get in fire, burn. That's a law. But when God is on your side, he can defy laws. They said they threw the three boys in. They should have burned. But the reason they didn't burn, y'all come over here. The reason they didn't burn, the reason they didn't burn, because before they threw them in. The fourth man were waiting. We invite you to an extraordinary worship experience with the Watoto Children's Choir, Thursday, February 7th at 7 p.m. The Watoto Choir is based in Kampala, Uganda, and they travel worldwide. Watoto Child Care Ministries was birthed out of the need to house orphan children left behind after the revolution. <laughs> tuning into the Word of Excellence broadcast, which can be heard here daily on Family Radio, 1490 AM, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. Be sure to watch our weekly television broadcast on WMOR Sundays at 5.30 AM, WACX Super Channel 55, Tuesday at 7.30 PM, CTN Local, Tuesday, 8.30 PM, and CTN National, Saturday, 10 a.m. You're welcome to join us at our live Sunday worship service at 10 a.m. and Wednesday midweek service at 7.30 p.m. For more information about obtaining copies of any message, please contact us at 
1-800-242-8222 or visit our website at www.pclctheview.org. Our prayer is that God will continue to richly bless you.